Welcome back guys. So in today's video, I guess I'm gonna kind of settle a score and find out whether I'm right or wrong or someone's right or wrong. So it's kind of a long story, but first we'll start out with what we have. What we have is a, I believe it's a 2001 Toyota Echo. Bought it at an impound sale. And normally I don't tell you what I pay for this stuff, but it's important on this one. So I paid 300 for it. You can tell, you know, there's no dings. All the panels are original. The windshield doesn't even have a star in it. You know, no hell dents. The body's perfect. It's, you know, it's got some minor things like the plastic, the bumper. But it's got a perfect body. It's got good tires. All four tires even match. They're not cheapies. They're Dunlap, I think. And looks great right well the elephant in the room is the fact that somebody painted it with primer and did a terrible job at that and if you look it did have a really nice shiny paint job and anywhere on here that you look on here well, that might be plasti dip I doubt it Anyway, it's got nice shiny red paint. Pretty well everywhere. So, that's why it brought 300 bucks. And this is where the argument kind of started and the idea for this video came from. So, I'm in Texas. As you can see, Texas, Texas. Everything we own here has Texas tax. The person that was arguing with me was from that direction in New Mexico. So apparently over there, this is all the rage. You paint your car primer, half-ass primer. You give it a fancy flame job, which I have no idea how they did that. You do it when you're 16, you do it when you're 26, 46, 56, whatever, it's all the rage. And it's A-OK. -okay. okay, fine, whatever. But over here, you try to drive this thing around anywhere on this side of the railroad tracks. And you're going to get profiled. They're going to think you're up to no good. Looks like you're on your way to the next liquor store robbery. Or you're on your fifth DUI just waiting to get pulled over again. That's just the facts because that's usually how it is here. I have the actual decent version of this and I get pulled over in it because it's old. You can be going one mile an hour over, they'll uh, pull you over, they see the license, you get a warning. They see, you know, the address and they're like, oh, why the hell is this guy driving this whole thing? But whatever, because everyone here drives new stuff. And if it's not new stuff, it's really nice, you know, older stuff, like restored. But anyway, I got called a liar because, oh no, they don't do that. Where I'm from, this is, you know, like your quinceanera. You go primer paint your car when you're 16. There's no way you're full of crap. My BS meter's off, off the rails, whatever, whatever, whatever. So anyway, that among a bunch of other things ate at me. So I got the idea, well, since I'm working over there now, why don't I just tag this thing along with me? We'll take it to the auction and see if it brings more than $300. If it does, it means then, okay, they are okay with the paint job. And, well, that's real shaky. Anyway, I don't know what it's going to accomplish, but it'll tell me that, okay, yeah, they are okay with that. Where here, they're not okay with it. It makes the car junk. And I originally had planned on painting it making it try to look nice, you know, backyard paint job with decent automotive paint, but that kept bugging me, kept bugging me. And then I was like, wait, I'll just take it with me. So there's an auction coming up. It'll sell by pictures, just like the way I bought it. And to make it fair, I'm not gonna change anything on it. So pictures, what was in the pictures when I bought it, I'm gonna leave in the pictures now. Kind of make it a level playing field. Only we're going to take it to this previous subscriber's backyard. Well, 
I guess I might fix be fixing to be my backyard too. But nonetheless, we're gonna take it over there and see what it brings. See whether that person's right or I'm a liar or whatever, whatever. Now, if it sounds like I have an attitude or a trip on my shoulder or whatever, whatever, yeah. I mean, you only be called a liar so many times before it sets you off. So, whatever. Usually a nice guy, but this one set me off. So, seeing it go too will help me out. Anyway, I've never gone through this car. I've only seen what you've seen. And I've driven it around the backyard. So, I know it's got forward and reverse and that's it. Everything's in here from the previous owner. And we're going to shovel it out real quick. And that's another thing, when I bought it, this was the interior picture. And probably when I sell it, this will be the interior picture. So that might be the only, the only part that's different. So anyway, enough with my rant. I actually feel a little better ranting about that. So let's go through this, see if we find any bad habits, anything good, because I honestly have not gone through this car. So to save everybody their sanity, I'm going to go ahead and unhook the battery, maybe. Because that beeper is really annoying. There we go. Now you're probably wondering, you're like, hey David, why don't you just pull out the key? You idiot. Well, because this is the key. And... Oh, it's a 2000. Red and black, yeah. So that's the key. And this is the key too. Maybe. It only works with right-handed people, apparently. Well, look at that. Maybe it's not the key anymore. There we go. So yeah. Real easy to steal if anyone actually wanted to steal a Toyota Echo. So I'll just kind of give you guys a quick look in here. It's all here. The dash is clean. I guess the cats went to the bar and threw up in here because I left the window down one night. And like I said, it's easy to steal, so I guess they stole it and threw up in here. Don't know how many miles it has. I didn't even look. But, you know, we'll give it a quick wipe down. Windshield's good. The seats are good. I mean, the seats aren't even torn. I mean, this thing is in really decent shape. It's got your squirrel food in there. They did put DIY window tint, which isn't... It's not great because it fades. But I will give them this. They did a decent job. So anyway, I'm in a rush. I got stuff piling up. I got to be in New Mexico for the next two days traveling across it. So we're just going to start shoveling stuff out. We're going to start here and just go front to back. We'll see if we find any illicit items or stuff that shouldn't be here or bad habits. So we're going to start here. Found a knife, trash. Leave that for the next guy. Uh, another knife. So this guy liked knives. Don't need that. Ooh, we got needles or what we got here? Matches, okay. You know what, we'll, we'll keep that because you never know when that comes in handy. A breaker. This guy apparently liked to Oops, I'm sorry. Apparently this guy liked to take stuff apart and smoke. Ooh, we got keys. None of them look like they'd fit this. But I like the keychain thing. We'll hang on to that. Sharpie, a band-aid. And I'm always careful. Because you never know if there's going to be a needle or something in there. I don't like just sticking my hands just willy-nilly wherever. Uh, that's from me. 
So we'll make a little keep pile right here in the dirt. Fuse panel is off. Never a good sign. What's in here? We got... I guess, I don't know. I'm not a smoker anymore. Ooh, that's gonna go in the trash because there's no telling what's in that. And if it was real important, the cops would have they'd have confiscated that when they busted this poor guy. So yeah, remember, oh, they don't profile you and stuff, but yet this was a police impound. Just keep that one in mind. Yes, I'm still a little bitter. Shouldn't be, but I am, so it is what it is. Mm, nothing under there. You guys see anything under the seats? Nothing that, uh... Huh. Nothing that can't stay. Some coke in there. That'll be good for the trash. Guy had a good taste in music. He might keep that one. Pringles. Ooh, what's in here? So far we haven't found really any bad habits. I don't want someone to get hurt on that. We'll throw that out. Usually by now I'll find a little thing of liquor or stuff, the green stuff people like to smoke. And I don't know if I'll edit this out because some people like it when you go through cars and see what's there. Mm, batteries, another rock. You know what? I think the next person can benefit from that. Ooh, a geode. Same with the pennies. Like I said, we're gonna, this is gonna go the way I kind of found it. So I found it with all this. Let the next guy have it. Of course, being an impound, you always have to have the busted screen. Ooh, what we got here? Got shades. Well, they're not white, so he must not have driven a tow truck. Um, ooh. We'll, we'll keep that one. And that one. No. Get rid of that. Might be harmless, it might not, but you know, I want nothing to do with those. Especially in the wintertime, I'll throw them in the fireplace. Wood. More wood. Uh-oh. A love letter, I think. What is this? It says, as much pain as this may cause you. No, I'm kidding. I guess it's just a a list. Boy, I'm in AH mode today. I don't know why. I'm having a pretty good day too. Actually, about a good week. No oh, flat bill style. Surely he's got to have white sunglasses in here somewhere. That's worth keeping. So anyway. Mm. You know. Yeah. For the next guy. For the next guy. Toss them. These are, this is mine actually. Throw it on the dash so maybe it'll blow up. That's always good. Okay. Cleaned up pretty decent. Let's go to the back. All right, so got a hoodie. I would put you guys on the, the headset cam deal, but it doesn't, I can't see. Ooh, Pringles, yum. Those have only been in here for, I don't know. Oh, I thought 
thought that was one of them World War II German eagles. I was like, whoa, what was this guy into? Rag, Pringle stuff. Nothing of interest. Let's go to the other side. Got the Yoda book. How to care for your Yoda. Cool. We'll keep that with this. What is this? Sausages. And if you wear white sunglasses. Oh, sweet. Glad I got better to wear gloves when I drive this. I should just bring this with me. Now, if you wear white sunglasses, I'm not really picking on you. I'm just, in general, talking crap. Another horseshoe Pringle can. Really, nothing of any importance. So I forgot to mention it, but this is the reason it probably got pulled over. I'm 99% sure it's what the paperwork said. That says it expired seven of 21. Well, right now it's, I don't know, August uh, 4th? Not August. April 4th. So 2024. So what we found out through the paperwork and stuff was the lady that sold this car to the guy that got it impounded, he never put it in his name. He drove around, likely no insurance, and not even registered in his name for three, three years, I believe. So kind of impressive that he got away with it. Kind of sad on the police department's part. You know, I'm not going to make judgment on it, but I don't know. To go four years without getting caught. We'll give the guy kudos. Ooh. So we have a battery. Old batteries, probably. I don't know why it's in here. You know what? I'm gonna set you guys up. All right. So this is good. We've got the headrests. And then we got a tool bag. Walmart drill, but it works. Good for a guy that uses that. We got a hammer. Oh, look. Doesn't work. Infrared amp clamp. Hopefully, you guys can see all this. Dude, this is full of tools. Another amp clamp. Don't know what that is, don't want to know. Razor blades. I mean, this stuff isn't high-end stuff. It's like from Walmart. But, you know, for the service truck where you leave a door open, forget to lock it, and someone in Amarillo comes by and helps themselves, you know, I'm okay with losing some of this stuff. Got a toothbrush. I don't know why I'm throwing that in there. Welding chalk, paint pen. Man, don't mind if I do. Sweet. That'll keep me nice for about five minutes in this video. Got a stud finder. I'm surprised it's not going crazy right now when I touch it. Um, a light. Batteries don't work. More screwdrivers. A lunch pail, he steals stuff from work. Um, hmm. I'm gonna say that's a sausage. Cause I don't know what it is, but it's not what I think it is. And maybe he did steal stuff from work. Can't make this stuff up, guys. More screwdrivers. Nuts and bolts, some bike parts. You know, 
I like someone in, in Berkey could use that. Or that. Ugh. More squirrel food. You know, I don't know. I might. <sighs> might leave it there. Even more. Oh, look at this. It's made out of wire. We'll, we'll leave it for them. That looks like something they'd like. Got a good dog. Good when you're changing oil. Hammer. Ooh. That's old. I don't know if you can see that. Walmart bag, Walmart bag, Walmart bag. Man, I could almost make a pallet out of the crap that's in here. Got a bunch of screws. Ratchets. I'll just put it on the ground. We'll go through it here in a second. Let you guys look at it. Berkey bound. More Walmart sacks. I don't know if he robbed Walmart. What he did. Ooh. Goes around the radio. We need that. Walmart set. Socket set. I don't use these. They can go with it. I do use these. I don't want that. Hmm. Screwdriver RC Cola. I think I lived in 1975, apparently. That can stay. What was this guy's name? Huh, what do we got here? Oh, a dispute debt. Well, bro, if you weren't paying for registration or anything, I mean, you could have used the money for the debt. I don't know, we've all been there. That's why I give them a hard time. Capacitor or anything in it? No. Sometimes I'll make a huge spark. Probably not the best thing to do. Restore finish. My folks of Kirky can keep that. Walk the line. And more squirrel food. Yep, I think the fine folks of Albuquerque can have all this. I think they'd like it. Okay. Well, I like how they have a little latch to open. We'll hide that in there. And we'll show you what we got. So here's what the last guy left for me. Kind of zoom you guys in a little. Got a thing of bolts. That's all full of tools. That's full of tools. This is kind of full of tools. Got a dog dish, a dead battery, and some miscellaneous. So it doesn't seem like much. But if you had to go and buy that stuff individually, that would have cost me probably double what I caught, bought the cold car for. Now, granted, it's Walmart stuff, but, you know, it'll work. I lose stuff or I'm working on something small. You know, that's perfect. Won't hurt my feelings if I lose it. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go wash this. I'm going to pull these stickers off. So I originally bought this for the engine. But it just, it runs too good for me to part it out. I'll put it in drive. Go for it. That's pretty good. If I wasn't selling it, I would park bomb it. There we go, made it to the wash bay. So yeah, it runs really good. Probably could use shocks and stuff because I thought I was going to roll there for a second. Probably a good thing I didn't jump the railroad tracks like I wanted. But 
I think this would make someone a good car. Let's see how well we can get it to clean up. So somewhere in this mess, there should be a deal of soap. There it is. Yeah, it looks like I live in here, but I don't, I promise that. So, get you guys out of the light. I bought this out of the clearance rack. Snow foam auto wash. Never used it. Don't have a foam can. It says several different ways to mix it. Figure what other way to find out if it works than, well, wherever that turd's hiding behind the truck, I got to work on. So let's see how this works when you run it through a pressure washer. guys so before I show you how this thing turned out just kind of a quick word this isn't an attack on New Mexico or anything in fact I admire that they'll drive you guys drive anything and everything that'll run down the road and seeing the stuff on the road is so cool seeing 90s Ford Escorts Saturns Civics Ford Ranger stuff that we haven't seen here in like 15 years you see them all day every day over there and I, I think it's really cool compared to us where we had to have a brand new King Ranch F-350 or a Suburban at 200% APR for 300 months and you know the new stuff does, doesn't do it for me. The old stuff is cool so not an attack on you guys. Not saying it because I'm trying to do business out there. I've, last decade a lot of my money has come from out there and to be quite honest I really like the place. Didn't like Albuquerque the first couple times I went there, but then that place really grew on me, as crazy as it sounds. So anyway, just saying, not an attack on you guys or anything like that. I, I admire how that place works. I think it's really cool, very resourceful. So that out of the way, here's what we got. It, well, that doesn't look very good. That's okay. Kind of sort of shined up took the floor mats out they were just nasty I found the hood prop so that's a plus and we put this on kind of sort of I'd say it turned out pretty good like I said this parts not cheating because there was no pictures of it um I say um a lot the outside didn't didn't turn out great probably has less dust on it our flame job stayed, so that's cool. Pulled off some of the black, whatever that is, primer, paint. I don't know what the guy did. And like I said, I'm not going to shine up the headlights and stuff. That'd be cheating. So all we got left is I'm going to pull this off because they're sharp out there. They'll see that. And I would think the same thing. They'd be like, oh, it's been off the road since for three years. What's wrong with it? So we'll pull that off. But yeah. It's ready to hit the trailer. I would drive it, but there's no insurance on it, and I'd probably get pulled over three times before I left the state of Texas with it. And I just want to let you guys hear it. It runs really, really smooth. I don't know if you can hear that. But I just, when we have a car that runs and drives, it's all there and runs that good, regardless of how bad it looks. I mean, I just, I didn't have the heart to tear it apart or jump it over the tracks or do an afternoon of evasive driving maneuvers. But anyway, so yep, we'll get this thing loaded on the trailer and then I'm trying to think of my schedule. Not tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to the southern part of the state, but the day after we'll go drop this thing at the auction and then we'll see what happens. It's really windy out here, hope you guys can hear me. So it made it. It's about, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes from its home. It ran into snow a little while back, and it's April. And it's also, you guys can see that, 36 degrees. I'm a short sleeve. So I was just 
up, make sure everything's good. If you're shortly over the mountain and be at its new home. I think this is it coming up here. Two way. Yeah, it's, it'll branch out to four lane. I hope this isn't it. So I thought that the musical thing was over here. I want to record it going over it. I think it's right here. It's been a while. Yep, is this it? Yeah. No. Totally missed them. It happened last few times I tried to. So I didn't go to the sale, but I did manage to record it. And I recorded a few things, but I didn't manage to record mine. So one trend I noticed, and like you'll see with this car that's selling now, is these are good buyers and they're not going to buy junk. You could buy that Kia and it could start having a rod knock on the way home because that's what Kias do. There's even a recall on it and you're stuck holding the bag. And this car right here too. It was really clean. It looked like I thought it had somewhere had 150000 or something. Real clean car, but it had a stick shift, which is like having leprosy, and no one will buy it. And the price, what it brought, reflected that, even though it was a real nice, clean car. And the next car was a really nice, clean Saturn wagon. It looked like Grandma drove it to bingo on Wednesday, church on Sunday, maybe the grocery store on Monday, and nothing more. I mean, it was clean, fairly low mileage, and it had an automatic. And it brought kind of a lot. And I cut it off on accident. I don't know how I managed that. But for what it brought, it was worth the money because that would last someone the next 10 years, especially the mileage they put on out there. And I know of a car that's got like 360 on it. And supposedly it was trouble-free. I don't know. But anyway, showed me that they know how to buy cars out there. And then there was mine. It brought 500 bucks. So... Yeah, technically it brought more than it brought here, but that's nothing when I've seen those cars not running out there bring double that. So that tells me the paint killed it. And yeah, whoever told me that, oh yeah, they love that stuff out there. Yeah, I don't think they do. Just because a guy who's named after an Elton John song, I guess that's a song, Daniel or whatever, just because he used to do it and Whatever, whatever. It doesn't mean the whole town does it. And, yeah, it, it kills the value. Doesn't matter what part of the country you're in, a car like that's going to be driven by the same demographics. It's going to have the same fate. It's going to end up like in a junkyard. If that one ended up in the U-pull across the road, down the road, it wouldn't surprise me, but they would do good. Still had the factory cat. That would make them break even and then some. Then selling the parts and then crushing it they'd make a profit so either way whether you pull got it or an individual got it someone got a good car that's gonna either serve them well or make them some money so anyway i don't know what the point of this video was i guess it's kind of me venting ranting but i got rid of a car i got to look at some equipment that i needed to look at and got some stuff bought so wasn't a total waste um I need to figure out how to make edit this so where you guys can, you know, see the screenshots. And yeah, I'll leave this in here because, you know, it's reality. I'm not going to hide stuff. I'm going to do it raw like it usually is. So anyway, yeah, this is the wagon. I don't remember what it brought. Maybe it did bring 1400 but still, real good price. You could drive that thing for like the next five years, probably trouble-free. So anyway... I'll throw in a couple screenshots of what my car brought, which was 500 No, I didn't bid it up. 
I just bit on it because I wasn't smart enough to figure out you could just push the little eyeball button to watch it. But nonetheless, you know, someone got a good deal. And so that's that. So anyway, got a couple good videos coming up. Especially my people overseas will be interested in either the next one or the one after. It'll really interest them. So keep a lookout for that because that one's coming up. So I appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys watching. You know, let me know what you thought. I'm sure there's one person. I'll either get a nasty uh, text or a nasty comment. But I don't know. We'll see. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next one.